Now, once we've set up our implement, we need to set up our run screens. So we go to layout to do that. We create a new layout and we can name this whatever we'd like. And name it something valuable and something that you can identify. We can create different layouts for different operations. So we'll put the things that we need to see when we're using a Nutriplacer on the screen here. We don't need to see other things that are unique to planters or air seeders here. Things like accurate control speed, liquid op mode, liquid app rate scan, liquid control all sections, liquid flow rate scan, clutch control which is a 2x2, two two. section 1 and 2 control, prime control, and lastly, our master control. When we go back and go to our run screen, this is what we see. Now, this is everything we will need to actually go out and start that applicator. Now, this is good, but there are a couple things that we still need to do. Now, here's a little bonus tip. If we move liquid op mode, prime control, and master control to the left hand area instead of the run screen, now we can have access to those regardless of where we're at in the display setup. This makes it easy to get to these things so I can turn my master control on and also prime the applicator at any time. It's a very very convenient thing and it's very easy to do. Once we've got our run screen set up we need to come in and set up a product and a container. Now we can create a number of products and we'll come in here and start by setting up a new product and we'll call this whatever we want. In this instance we're going to call it water. Now we have several options that basically go in and help with our record tracking. Okay. Obviously water is going to be a liquid and it's used as a carrier. Default rate, delta app rate, minimum rate, all this is things that we have to do in order to set this product up to be used. Okay. We can go in and create a second product for our applicator. Here's our 32. It's also again a liquid and it's used as fertilizer. We'll put a default application rate of 15 gallons to the acre in. Our delta app rate is how much does the application rate change as I increase it on the screen. We set our min and max to cap which way we go in either direction. And the package size refers to how big the package comes either from the co-op or from your fertilizer distributor. We'll create a container and this container will be called our main tank. Now this is used for a variety of different functions. It's used to track how much product we've used. It's used to set off alarms based on tank levels so that the operator can pay more attention to the application quality and pay less attention to the sight gauge. We'll put 1100 gallons in for this applicator just for an example and we can choose between a warning type of a value or a percent. I'll say I want a warning at 200 gallons left and we'll disable time tracking. Once we have a product set up we need to come in and create a work condition. A work condition is going to basically pair up all the information we have now with the products that we are applying. The work condition we're going to create here we can call it anything we want. This one we'll call side dress for the application that we're going to be doing. Finally I'll assign my product to my layer under work condition and also to pair up the product with the main tank. On the control tab 
we need to set up what our default rate is going to be today for this application. The delta rate will change the rate based on the buttons on the screen. Product delay, minimum speed, and the alarm limit all need to be set in order to ensure a quality application. The alarm limit refers to the percentage that we can be off of our rate before we get an audible alarm. You can see you can set it to almost any value that you'd like. Lastly, we need to come in and do a couple of calibrations. Valve Cal will go in and it will actually actuate the valves in several different ways in order to create a map of how the valves act during normal operation. All these advanced valve calibrations are something that we can come in and discuss on a later date. They're used as almost tuning parameters, however. Liquid Cal is where we go out and physically catch a volume of product and compare that to what came out of the applicator. And what this will do is it will go in and actually compare the difference between what was measured and what was collected. This is where we can start to calibrate our flow meter. The white box here where it says actual output is where you would input that number. Remember, we need to calculate this for the whole bar, not just for one nozzle. So if I collect off of one row, I need to multiply that by my number of rows to get the measured output for the applicator bar. The benefits are clear. Between an ease of operation on the Pro 700, increased quality of application, and the fact that I only have to have one display in the cab makes this a potent combination. By pairing the new AccuControl technology with a proven Nutriplacer name, this is really going to be a hard combination to beat in the field.